In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today in the Church, the 21st of August, 2014, we celebrate the memorial of St. Pius X. He was born in 1835, and he attended the seminary in Padua. He was ordained a priest when he was 23 years of age. He was first appointed as an associate in Tombolo, and afterwards as a parish priest in Salzano. He became the canon of the Cathedral of Treviso, as well as Episcopal Chancellor and Spiritual Director of the Diocesan Seminary. In 1884, he was appointed Bishop of Mantua, and in 1893, he became the Patriarch of Venice. On the 4th of August, 1903, he was elected Pope which he hesitated to accept because he did not consider himself to be worthy of such a high office. His motto, in sturare omnia in Christo, to renew all things in Christ. He reorganized the Roman Curia in the Vatican. He helped to codify the Code of Canon Law he was instrumental in renewing priestly formation and he promoted the catechesis of the laity which eventually led to the catechism called after him the pious the tenth catechism and he promoted prayer and a fuller participation of the laity through the sacraments he especially was vigorous in his condemnation against modernism and on the 7th of may 1909 he founded the pontifical biblical institute he died on the 20th of august 1914 and he was canonized in 1954 to give you some idea of what he thought about spirituality listen to his motu proprio tra le Solicitudini, 1903, in which he said that the true Christian spirit has as its first and indispensable source in active participation in the sacrosanct mysteries and in the public and solemn prayer of the church. In other words, for Pope Pius X, a true Christian spirit is rooted in the sacraments of the church, especially in the celebration of the sacraments as frequently as possible, such as going to a daily mass or holy mass, receiving holy communion whenever we are able to, and attending the other sacraments as we are able to receive them. For example, frequent reception of communion and the frequent practice of confession. For this reason, he recommended that the sacraments be received often. He encouraged the daily reception of Holy Communion, and he helped restore the uh, communion for children when he lowered the age to seven, when a child begins to reason. And so here we have a wonderful saint for us to imitate. And I think it's especially important to remember how Pope Pius X was especially devoted to our Blessed Mother and that he wanted to renew all things in Christ and that he wanted to have our spirituality rooted in the church, rooted in the sacraments of the church, especially Holy Mass and especially in Holy Communion. Let us pray. O oh God, who to safeguard the Catholic faith and to restore all things to Christ, filled Pope St. Pius X with heavenly wisdom and apostolic fortitude. 
graciously grant that following his teaching and example, we may gain an eternal prize. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Remember, God loves you.